Abel Luna, thank you so much for meeting with us today. I know you're busy, but I wanted to speak with you about how, how migrant justice is approaching this COVID period on behalf of the migrant workers in Vermont and around the country. Yeah, thank you again for, for having us. Uh, my name is Abel Luna, I'm an organizer with Migrant Justice. Um, and yeah, to just to, um, you know, very briefly before diving into some of the what's happening here in Vermont and with, uh, with the migrant community, migrant farm workers, you know, I think it's important to understand the, the bigger picture um, that, that we're facing right now and to ask ourselves, um, sort of how do we end up in this mess, right? Um, there's thousands of people that are being laid off, uh, millions of people that have been excluded from, um, uh, you know, financial support um, and, and um, healthcare, uh, thousands of families that are unable to pay rent. Uh, and it is important to question that in th this moment, right? How did we get here? Um, you know, it's, and it's important to understand that this is a perfect time for, you know, the right wing for, you know, power, um, you know, to seize the opportunity and to push their agenda, right? To continue to get richer to, and richer while, you know, communities, um, uh, the migrant communities and other, you know, working class communities continue to suffer um, and are left fighting for the leftovers, right? Um, and to even make it worse, the migrant communities are not getting any of it. And, and so, you know, what, what is happening in Vermont? And, and um, so there is, uh, you know, my, uh, as the government has deemed farm workers essential, what does that mean, right? Um, so farm workers have to continue to get up every day, every morning, um, mill the cows, um, continue to work uh, with uh, unsafe working conditions, like of protective equipment, um, uh, overcrowded housing, two to three people uh, per room, um, you know, and um, for example, as the government, you know, is calling for people to uh, self-isolate, um, to stay six feet away from each other, to stay home. That is a reality that people cannot, uh, farm workers uh, on, on dairy farms cannot uh, live uh, because of things that I, that I mentioned above, right? And um, these things are not new. These conditions are not new. They have always been there before the crisis um, started to sweep the nation. Uh, and they just have gotten worse now with the pandemic um, for the migrant community. And, and so what are we doing as, a, as an organization uh, here in Vermont? Um, um, there's two main things that, that we're focusing on right now, uh, access to healthcare and also economic ex assistance. Um, and for that, we're talking to legislators and representatives um, and, and uh, Senator Leahy and Sanders and Representative Welch's office. Um, you know, but some of the things that we're, that we're saying is that, you know, it's great that there's free testing uh, for, uh, for the virus, but there's no for example, um, related treatment assistance, right? Uh, if you test positive, if you need to spend more money, there's no coverage for that. Um, you know, it is a great idea. Also that um, the state of Vermont has actually expanded Medicaid to cover uh, more people, but migrant farm workers are not, um, have not been included on that. Um, you know, and this is a time of crisis and it's a, a public um, health crisis and everybody, um, you know, should have the right to to coverage um and and so we're saying that there is this uh medicaid has this an emergency fund um that in other states for example in massachusetts new york and oregon have been used um to expand um, that emergency fund to cover uh migrant communities and that's something that vermont can do uh in the broadest way possible and we need vermont to take that stand um to protect you know the 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 community that is making sure that the, their industry collapses uh, in this time of crisis. Um, and on the economic uh, piece, you know, um, migrant farm workers uh, pay, you know, federal and state taxes, um, and they have been excluded from everything, uh, the uh, unemployment fund, the stimulus checks. Um, and so, um, you know, people continue to work and the government needs to put money into migrant workers' uh, pockets. And so, uh, Vermont has gotten $1.2 billion through the CARES uh, fund, the CARES program, um, that is going to be redistributed in different ways. Um, and that is something that Vermont uh, can carve some money and, you know, to make sure that farm workers, uh, if, they, if they're facing financial hardships during the crisis, um, they can have access to these funds. We have seen it with Texas, we have seen it with New Jersey, and we have seen it with other cities across the country, um, you know, putting funds aside. Um, to protect farm workers that are that don't have money right now, and just yesterday, California, um, you know, created a 120 million dollar fund just to assist migrant communities, um, and that's what we're uh, pushing here in Vermont for. 
um, you know, their money is here in Vermont, um, and it needs to, you know, it needs to include migrant migrant farm workers. Otherwise, um, you know, this is not we're not um, we're not doing anything. So, what kind of response are you getting from Vermont legislators on the idea of expanding coverage to the migrant community? Um, the community. That's a, that is a great question. That, that is something that we're starting to explore uh, with, uh, with some of this, um, the representatives and senators. Um, and um, it's something that, you know, um, we hope that there is not a lot of resistance around that uh, because that is something that Vermont can definitely, you know, use the emergency fund from Medicaid um, to include farm workers. Um, and, and that's what we're gonna be pushing for. We had some initial conversations already with some uh, senators and representatives that support the idea, that want to get behind it. Um, you know, but again, um, like I mentioned at the beginning, um, you know, there is a lot of interest uh, and power um, in, um, you know, and farm workers have been excluded. And so, you know, we hope that that is not the case um, with those funds and there is willing uh, willingness to, to, to do that. Do you need help from the broader public to help make the point for this need with the Vermont legislature? Yeah, well, I think we're gonna we're um, we're gonna um, sort of continue to to uh, to define exactly sort of what is it that that you know um, that we want as the public to do. And once we sort of have that ready, I think you know we're gonna send out information if, you know if it's necessary. Hopefully, we don't need to get there. Hopefully, we don't need to do a campaign to make sure that people you know um, have the right to access to healthcare and, and financial support. That's something that, you know, it's a no brainer and the state should be doing that. Uh, so hopefully with the conversation that we're gonna be having that can be done and that's something that can be, um, you know, put in writing. Um, but if not, that's something that I think we're gonna be calling um, the community to support migrant justice and, and, and farm workers ask. Um, but we'll be sort of um, defining that and, and we can put it out there. Um, and there is going to be one one thing that we're doing um, is that uh, there is a May May Day um, car rally, um, you know, not just for migrant justice, different organizations, the Worker Center, AFL CIO, um, people are going to be joining those. Uh, so different groups are going to be joining uh, their car rally, um, you know, and it is to uh, to represent those um, you know working class interests, um, and and that could be something that maybe on May first we are, we decide to push for something. Um, you know the state has to do something um, you know but we want people to to come to join us um yep well that may day rally will be a lot of fun i think because people even if they can't be physically together would have a a good time in their cars driving around certainly together and making the broader point about how working people in this country and in our state are being taken care of or not being taken care of given that they are many of them providing the essential work that is keeping the economy and healthcare going. Yeah, and it is important for people, you know, um, I, I know that, um, you know, we need to take measures and, and stay safe and keep safe, you know, but at the same time, you know, it's important for people to, to stand up and to, you know, to, to work together, to organize. Um, like I mentioned, these are times where um, you know, power is going to cease to take opportunity and, and to rise in popularity and, and to, you know, do its thing. And they never rest, they never stop. And we have to do the same thing. We have to continue to organize. We have to continue to come together, especially now, um, different communities that have been doing work in, in, um, in you know, in, uh, in their own areas. Now we need to talk to each other and come together um, and make sure that, you know, we're fighting this battle together um, as, as workers um, and, um, you know, as people who are being um, sort of, you know, left out of a lot of the benefits. And so it's important to, to fight and, and to stand up. Well, now more than ever, especially that we're, we're physically apart from each other, but we need to be united. Really, I think your point about the forces of capital never sleep and they're very adept at getting um, bailed out. So, so being able to, as working people, make sure that the people who need it the most are protected is really important role. And I would like to thank you and your coworkers at Migrant Justice for keeping this fight going today and always. It certainly is an uphill battle and there isn't anything that the United States is doing to make it easier for the people that produce the food we rely on. Yeah, no, thank you for having us and yeah.
Great. All right, Abel. It's great to see you. Thanks for joining us. And uh, let us know if you need any support. Yep, thank you. We'll be letting you guys know. And check out our website, um, and those, there's going to be more information. If you want to shop to the May Day, uh, send us an email at info at migrantjustice.net uh, for more, more information. All right. Well, we'll get the word out, too. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Take care.